Y'all, I apologize. I don't know why my camera stopped and it was only at 20 minutes. And this is just crazy because Capricorn, I I had the last videos that I recorded for y'all. I told y'all that I have a lot of interference with Capricorn readings and it's still going on. And it's just to me, it's like for my it to stop at 20 minutes. It was not even I don't even have it. I have nothing but space on my my phone for me to do this reading and for it just to stop without me pushing the button like I said that's just me just still confirming to y'all that there's some people that don't want me to get these messages out so Capricorns are cross watchers whoever you're dealing with I'm just trying to let y'all be well aware of the conflicts that I have and it's just right now it's just very um this is just, just crazy to me it's crazy to me but let me continue to keep saying what I was saying um I don't even remember where I stopped at because I was just sitting, I had to go back and look at the video to see where it stopped at and it stopped at 20 minutes and I had already had a whole layout on here. So I'm going to just keep going. Um, I'm just going to start where it started F and this is just crazy to me that this is happening again. Okay. So let's start. Um, I'm going to keep going. So there could be, a, like I said, an earth sign that is well aware of them not investing in a relationship with you are you this could be you Cap capricorn you could possibly like i said if this is an uh, uh a water sign they possibly are aware that you didn't invest in a relationship or you were not willing to give this person some type of commitment um as well um the next card that we have is the seven of cups and the seven of cups when this i mean the seven of coins when this comes out um this card is about um you know somebody um having some type of anxiety so like i said you could also be feeling a little bit more over emotional or the person that you're dealing with could be very you know coming off um over emotional as well as dealing with some type of anxiety this is also about somebody being very impatient as well as having some type of bad investment so capricorn you could possibly like i said feel like you invested you had invested in a relationship with the fire sign um that was a bad decision for you or the fire sign is thinking that it was a bad decision for them to invest in some type of situation with you um they're possibly also like i said when this card comes out the seven of um coins it's also about um i'm sorry if y'all hear me because i'm gonna pay attention to whenever look and go back and forth to see exactly if this video is still playing so the seven of coins is also about like i said somebody possibly could be bad with money um there possibly could have been a, a person or an earth sign that you are you capricorn have been bad with money or you could have been mad have made some type of bad investments as well as being just overall you know not wanting to invest um in an overall an emotional relationship um capricorn or the person that um if you're dealing with the water sign, they possibly are an earth sign. They possibly were not investing completely in a relationship. They were more about self and they were not giving some type of commitment. Um, the next card that we have is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, when this card comes out, um, this is about um, somebody just being, you know, unreliable as well as being inconsistent as well as being the player. They're the in and out person. They'll come in and give you the passion as well as, you know, give you that hot, steamy sex. But at the same time, when they give it to you, they come out. This is also somebody that has a very big ego problem. They are very egotistical as well as being overall contr controlling as well as being judging. Um, they will come in and give you some type of quick passion. But at the same time, as soon as they give it to you, they leave, they, they're out. Out. This is also the Knight of Wands. Um, when it comes out, this is somebody that does not want to give some type of commitment. So like I said, there could have been a fire sign that you're feeling that this person is not giving you some type of commitment. Or there could be an earth sign that's feeling like you are you are feeling like an earth sign is not giving you some type of commitment. As well as there could be an air sign too, okay? Um, when these two cards come out like this, this means that somebody, the King of Wands as well as the Knight of Wands, that means that somebody is very narcissistic. Um, they, they're, they're, they, they care about you. You, they show you you know how much they love about you but at the same time this person could also be a little bit physical as well as a little bit harsh with their words as well as being very you know um what what am i trying to say they also could be very verbal with their there could be verbal words like they could they can emotional 
verbal abuse is what I'm trying to say. Physical, emotional, and verbal abuse. This is when these two cards come out, okay? So that's what that person's about, okay? Um, the next card, um, but this is also about somebody that's not wanting to move in a situation as well as, like I said, if they're very inconsistent, this person could have just been very inconsistent when it came or you could have been very inconsistent when it came to, um, you know, uh, investing overall in some type of emotional relationship as well as building some type of uh, strong foundation or giving some type of overall commitment is what I'm getting to. Um, this is also when this part, this, this comes out like this, this also could have been somebody that was there um, that's just there for the money as well as, you know, they, you possibly do have, have good sex with this person, but at the same time, they were possibly just there for the money. They're just there for the investment because they see that they can, um, you know, have some type of materialistic world with you as well is what I'm getting Capricorn or this is how a fire sign is feeling about you or a water sign or an air sign whichever sign all the signs is here I'm not going to just stay on the signs but I do see that there possibly could be an earth sign or a fire sign that was there just more for the money um the next card that we have is the there also possibly could be a fire sign like I said that is well aware of the way that they were um in the past, if they were the one that was in and out of a relationship, they could be wanting to surrender to a situation as well as invest in an, an emotional relationship um, now um, before as well. As well as I'm going to say an earth sign possibly too could be feeling that way too. Um, but it just seems to me like regardless of which way that this goes, it's going to be a decision Capricorn that you're going to have. If you're going to be cutting yourself out of a situation with somebody or if this person is going to be making a decision if they want to continue to invest in a relationship with you. Um, the next card that we we have is the seven of wands and when the seven of wands comes out this means that somebody is feeling very you know guarded um they're feeling like they have to defend their self constantly over and over and over which, which way regardless of which way it goes it could be like i said the person that you're dealing with as well as family and friends as well as a workplace um definitely could be like i said you feel like you have to defend yourself in a relationship when it comes to or you're trying to defend your overall home life when it comes to um you know you just having that emotional satisfaction um you could possibly like I said feel like you have to defend yourself real harsh uh, all the time to a fire sign or a fire sign it has feels like that they have to um defend their self with you as well there could also be a lot of arguments as well as quails as well as a lot of uh, miscommunications as well as you know a lot a lot of cutting and harsh words that's going on if you're dealing with a fire sign or an air sign if this person has air in their chart as well um but this is also about you know uh somebody that's feeling threatened like I said earlier when I said these two cards that comes out these this is the physical emotional and the verbal abuse so somebody could be feeling threatened they feel like that they have to guard their self um, when it comes to um, a situation because like I said the way that this person is coming off um, uh, as well is what I'm getting from this too um, This is also about somebody coming off a little bit arrogant. So Capricorn, they could see that you possibly could be coming off a little bit arrogant. Or if you are the one that, you know, has more, if you have a lot of money, or if you're the one that has, you know, all the friends of friends and, you know, just all the fame, they could see you coming off a little bit arrogant, um, you could, a little bit being a little bit selfish as a little bit prideful as well. Um, or that's how this person is seeing you. But like I said, this is also could could be also that you could have, you know, if this is not a love situation, um, there could be, like I said, a lot of people that's in your certain environment as far as when it comes to friends and family, which is causing you to come off a little bit withdrawn because like I said, they could also be trying to keep you stuck in a situation which was causing you to not move forward as well. Um, there could also be, like I said, uh, Capricorn, if you're dealing with a fire sign or even an earth sign, they possibly could have um, and have a family or invested in a situation which they um, are not sure exactly which way they're wanting to move in a situation as well. Um, somebody could be invested um, in a situation or they could possibly be married um, and they could have been lying about that and you're now you're coming out and finding out about that and that's the reason why you're wanting to guard yourself. Um, you're wanting to defend yourself um, as well as, like I said, you possibly are somebody you're dealing with possibly could feel like you are not defending um, them when it comes to, um, you know, y'all relationship as well as, you know, you overall taking up for this person as well. Um, 
is what I'm getting from that. Um, the next card that we have is the Six of Cups. And when the Six of Cups comes re oh, uh, uh, reverse, this means that somebody is wanting to leave some type of trouble behind. So like I said, so there possibly could be, like I said, a, a water sign that's from your past that's wanting to leave some type of trouble behind. Or if you, uh, this is somebody that's from your past or somebody that you dealt with. The, I can see that if you were the one that was coming off more of the, the Knight of Wands, you know, the controlling, manipulative, as well as the in and out, and then you not investing in a relationship as well as being very judgmental and cold hearted with your words, as well as being a little bit selfish with your money. I'm just seeing somebody is wanting to go ahead and release those burdens and no longer have that energy. Um, they possibly now be wanting to come back as the Knight of Cups and come back with some type of offer, but they possibly, like I said, could be feeling that, um, like they could also be feeling like you are going to be lacking some type of pleasure with them. Are they feeling like if you come back, um, you could be feeling like if you try to go back to them, um, that person, you know, is going to be a little bit withdrawn from their emotions with you because of the stuff that has happened in the past. If this person puts you in a third party situation or you put them in a third party situation, I'm also seeing that. Or if they invested in another situation, which was not you, um, I'm seeing that too. Sorry for moving my camera, y'all. Um, but the Six of Cups is also about, you know, somebody that's unwanted. Um, when it's upright, this means that somebody, you know, are... You, let me go back and say this. There also possibly could be somebody that does have is in a family situation. And there could be possibly, like I said, an air sign or a, fam a fire sign um, um, that is... Um, uh, keeping this person stuck when it comes to them trying to make some type of decision or make some type of clarity if they're wanting to continue to keep stay in a relationship or if they're wanting to remove themselves from a relationship um there could also be like i said children that's involved which is causing this person or causing you um to not make a decision um on which way you're wanting to go if you're wanting to cut yourself out of relationship um or you know like i said because there is third party this card is third party as well as the seven of um uh, 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 seven of wands is also um, competition um, so there could have been like I said this person could have possibly like I said have another family or they could invest it in another relationship um, or you know overall have different options that's available to them um, and the reason why you know you have been very guarded because you don't see you know an overall happy uh, life with this person because like I said they could be invested in another situation or this person could have been like I said more of the player type um, or more of them investing in just you know only their self as well as just being more about you know their work environment and not willing to uh, invest in an, in a relationship emotionally um, and fulfillingly um, is what I'm getting to from this okay so the next card that we have is the knight of pinnacles and when the knight of pinnacle comes out this is the slowest moving uh, moving knight on um in the deck so i don't know if this is you capricorn but there possibly could be another earth sign or a water sign or um that feels that you um have been very slow moving when it came to giving some type of offer are you investing in a uh an emotional relationship with them um you could have been like i said invested somewhere else if you do have a family or this person has a family they could possibly be invested in something else they could have made some type of bad because this is about bad investments so like i said somebody could have possibly like i said invested in another situation Situation or chose somebody else and now they're finding out that this was not the overall person for them as well um but the knight of um uh of pinnacles is about somebody being very irresponsible as well as somebody there could be some insecurities as going back and forth um as well as somebody being very jealous um this is also coming out like i said this is jealousy as well as this is jealousy so there could have been a lot of jealousy that was taking place there could also be like i said a lot of people that's around um you if this is not a third party situation or there's just like conflicts because of you know family and friends um they could just be also jealous of relationship that you have overall on this person and that's the reason why they're keeping you um from not gaining clarity as well as keeping you ungrounded and making you be all these different energies as far as selfish self-centered and you removing yourself from the situation when it came to family and friends as well as i'm seeing too because like i said they could have caused a lot of conflict when it comes to you dealing with um a certain person that you're wanting to invest with uh properly um in no you know and not have that drama or that conflict um of other people's opinions as well as other people's envi environment um and energy um taking a place in your household okay 
um, the next card that we have, so with also with the Knight of uh, Pentacles, um, this is also somebody coming off very impatient. So like I said, there possibly you could be coming off a lot of impatient because these are Earth cards and you are an Earth card. So you possibly could be coming off impatient when it comes to, um, you know, investing in a situation. There possibly, like I said, could have been a, a water sign or an Earth sign in the past that you, um, you are, they were not, you know, giving some type of offer to some type of solid uh, uh solid commitment um the next card that we have is the magician card and the magician card this is an air card so like i said a libra uh gemini as well as aquarius there could be somebody that was manipulating a situation as well as lying um about what was going overall and th this is also about somebody that's um um some type of hidden truth as well as somebody just having a lack of willpower um so this is also when this comes out this means that somebody is being very narcissistic too so with the king of um, swords are a, um, in the magician card, there could possibly, like I said, be a, a air sign that you're dealing with or, um, that is very, very narcissistic. Um, they could, like I said, been manipulating the situation. They possibly could have, you know, have you have good sex with this person come in and out of the situation, but there have, could have been also been some type of hidden motives behind, um, the situation overall, why they want to invest with you. There possibly could, like I said, have been about money when it comes to, uh, air sign, um, are a fire sign as well is what I'm getting because this did also come off on the uh, on top of the Knight of Wands. So there could have been, like I said, a fire sign that is manipulating the situation um, when it deals with money or manipulating situation when it also comes out with children as well as a um, a uh, air sign as well. OK, is what I'm getting from that, too. Um, but this is just overall when this this is also about somebody that's not able to manifest. So. Can